What's up, my friends? Welcome back to our blind Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We're here with Geralt. We are also here with Kira Metz. We're still wandering in the dark here, trying to look for any information on Siri. We are in the Elven, the Mask Elven Mages hideout here. I believe we probably are at the tail end of it. I can't imagine there being much more. Talk to Kira, and I'm guessing it will push us towards the end of it. Before we go ahead and do that, let's get up to speed with the new dandelion narration of the story. While searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. <laughs> Just the Crones of Crookback Bog. They sound like they're probably lovely. Kira said the Ladies of the Wood, and the Ladies of the Wood, what, was the three daughters that that mother made or something out of the earth? Or whatever, but Kira's calling her the Crones, and Old Man Dandelion's calling them the Crones too, so that's gonna be very interesting. Let's go ahead and do one more thing before we actually head out and talk to Kira. And I want to look at the... Because I don't know if this... It was red, and it's probably a quest item. So let's look at the Elder Blood book before we actually head a little bit further. We don't really need to read the bear one. I will get to that towards end of episodes, but this one probably is important. So what exactly is the Elder Blood? According to some, it is a powerful elven curse passed from generation to generation. Those in whose veins the infamous Hen Akar flows are said to carry death and destruction within them. To sow hatred and disdain in the hearts of men, it was from this contaminated blood that Ithilene's prophecy, an avenger, would be born, a destroyer of nations and world. Others claim the Elder Blood is an extremely rare inherent talent granting control over time and space to a degree unattainable even to elven sages. Sadly, few bearers of this gift have been able to control it in full. This merely partial mastery inevitably leads to the sudden outburst of the power that take the form of an unpredictable, uncontrollable, and thus extremely dangerous explosions. Now, the only thing that we have from that is in the books when Pavetta was destroying Sintra there, the throne room, member When the whole situation went down with Dooney and Pavetta just went crazy and just did that crazy outburst and it was pretty much just destroying everything in the room. So pretty much Pavetta and Siri, I would say that they are among some of the most powerful ones. Pavetta's stuff that happened at Sintra was extremely powerful. Siri had the same stuff happen, but kind of on a different scale. But... It's going to be interesting to see how the game actually plays out series powers. Just really, really looking forward to it. Anyways, behind the dark legends about the curse of Elder Blood lies the truth of these tragic cases. For obvious reason, the bearers of Elder Blood were always subjects of great interest to the world's mighty and to mages alike. The former counted on the truth of this thing's prophecy on an avenger being born who could destroy worlds and who they could thus use for their purposes. As for the latter, they hope to harness the magic of Hennikar to broaden their own knowledge and powers. Ultimately, however, all these plans were or not. The Elder Blood line broke off with the disappearance of the heiress to the North Guardian throne, Sarula Fionin Ellen Rionin. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk to Kira and get started here. I'm eager to see what else we have in store for us. Kira, did you miss me? Well. 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 Come on now. Well. What are we doing? Oh, there's a introduction to applied magic. Oh wait, hold on here. Oh, we have a red thing. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. 
And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. Thanks. Hi, Kira. When you notice a shimmer in the air, walk towards it. When you are close, press E to spell the illusion. Ooh. That makes me wonder. Since this wasn't... This is an illusion here. It makes me wonder if something back here is in that one little area. I wonder if that's an illusion too. Well. well, come on, Kira. I'm about to think about you, girl. All the time. Did she just give us that? Oh, hell yeah, Kira. Pour your sword out. You never know what's going to happen here, friend. I mean, this may very well. I thought it would be a lever or something we would have to press. But an illusion? That makes sense. Let's take some cat before we fucking wander around in the dark, huh? An illusion. That's so freaking awesome. Kira is like... She's been really helpful this mission, has she not? Oh, she just giving us more stuff to explore? You know I'm loving that. Kira, you're number one in my book, girl. For now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just more and more of these fucking boxes everywhere. And every one has something. Enhanced cursed oil. Ooh, that was something for the vamp or vampires. Yeah, definitely. Something for the werewolves. And then another rune. Interesting. Is there anywhere to go? Looks like we have kind of like a nook over here. Use the Eye of Nahelani to dispel the illusion. Alright, Kira. We'll get back. I just thought about Kira, guys. Did you think about Kira when we used that? Interesting. Interesting. Oh! Great. A fog light. One of my favorite enemies so far. Look how just badass they are. Let's go and take a Tony out. I want to get the traps on. Slows them down. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Foglet. Hang in there, girl. Let's take a swallow. We got this. Easy peasy. Nothing but dust, Foglet. A lesser blue. Another lesser blue. Very good. And then what was in here? Malgrim? Ooh, that looked good. You know, I haven't really delved into our inventory to look at, like stuff that we've gotten so far is anything an upgrade in here it doesn't look like anything probably is these assassins trousers though they're fucking an upgrade for sure let's put them on oh my goodness what is that carol <laughs> should we wear that this is an upgrade too look at this hold on <laughs> that's light armor <laughs> you know what? Let's wear it. Let's wear this mismatch madness. <laughs> Is this an upgrade? It's medium though. It's minus six. <laughs> oh my this is plus six. You know, that's just an upgrade, but these pants though. Do you see them? You know what, friends? Let's not. <laughs> let's kill in style. We don't need to worry about that crap. All right, well, let's head back to Kira. All right, girl, come on. Let's get out of here. I'm waiting for you. Well. well you There's something here. Need to use the eye. He's talkative today, huh? Well. Did you see Simple, that? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see where the passage leads. All right, Kira. Damn. All right, ladies first, ladies first. He's hauling ass in here. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? <laughs> There's still the magic lamp. So, are we gonna rub it and get a genie out of this or something here? 
I'm going straight to the bog. Fine, we'll help. Yeah, we'll definitely help. Kira has definitely, she mustered her courage and came through the, you know, and fought the hunt with us here. So definitely, I feel like she definitely deserves some help here. Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Not to mention, it looks like she gave us. Glan. We're certain to find something here. It looks like she's given us this eye or something. Oh, we'll sign something here later. Hold on here. Let me level up. How do I do that again? One of these damn buttons. All right, so we have another one. Let's see here. Can we put another point into this? Why not, friends, huh? Inquire tolerance it is again. And then we'll put the inquire tolerance over here. You know? Let's put that over there. Because this one is brown and it doesn't really look like it has a mutagen thingy majiggy. We have five. One more of them and we can create another one of these, pretty much. Look at the tens on these ones, though. All right, well, we'll get to making that stuff later. All right, come on, Kira. Get out of here, girl. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Certainly hope we haven't lost our way. Girl, you know we lost our way. That's apparent. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm, <laughs> sounds like a riddle, all right. All right, well, let's try to solve it. All right, let's see if we can solve this. Um. Oh, we got statues here. All right, well, Kira, she said the first, they're not. You hear the music? I fucking love this song. Just play it all the time because I'll just fucking cry. I'll just fucking be hitting the fuels all damn time here. All right, so. The first, they're not. Hold on. Is there a way to look at it again? Can you. Damn, maybe we should have repeated that. What was that inscription again? Here we go. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. So, the first is definitely this one. Because the second one was like the first played a lawful tune. So, has to be. And then this one. Wait, something just happened. Girl, we know what we're doing. Behind that wall, a movement. Now, the other one, one more time. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Wait, that doesn't make sense. So, this one marched not by the first, but this was the first, right? And then this one? Locked. Okay, because the fourth played a tune, and this one's not playing a tune, but she said 
The third was not like the first. All right, maybe I. We got it. Looks like some elven sanctuary. Whose grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm, sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but... Most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? <laughs> it's like, what does it do? And she didn't say a damn thing. Let's just leave. All right, well, she's got a magic lamp. Sage's notes. You think this... I wonder if... All right, well, this sage... Oh, he is an elven sage, then. She said a mage. Or... Maybe this person is a sage, then. Hold on here. Sage's notes? Day... 3,275 final conclusions regarding the lamp. My experiences with a magic lamp confirm that by using it, active centers of condensed spiritual energy can be coaxed into contact and can communicate a limited set of the being's last memories. Laura Doran's remains, however, emit entirely inert spiritual energy despite the violent conditions of her death, which should have strengthened the desired tendency. Laura remains silent. At this point, further research on lamps enabling contact with the dead seem entirely useless for my purposes. So I wonder if this is his notes or if it's another person's notes here. But whoever it is is doing a lot of research on Laura Doran here. They were trying to see Laura's spiritual remains talk to Laura by this lamp. So this lamp kind of lets you talk to the dead? How oh, cool. We have something over here. Oh! Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. That sounds like a golem. Place of power, baby! Alright, well... Let's see. Let's jump into... The... character and think about what we're going to do next because this is letting it open at level eight right this one is fine and dandy but i wonder though i wonder if we should get a sign ability here that quen one sounds pretty awesome but maybe we should up Raid Ard. Ard sweep. Ard strikes all opponents in certain radius, knocking down. Oh. Creates an active shield, maintaining it and blocking attacks. Drains stamina. Damage absorbed by the shield restores players' vitality. I'm believing that that is probably that bubble that we seen Geralt and Vesemir use while well, the Wraith Geralt. So I wonder. If we should do explode and shield here. Or maybe this Ard. You know what? Let's do explode and shield. I think I think it's a good idea. And then put it here. For now. Because this acquired tolerance, I don't feel like. I don't feel like that's very useful right now, fully, because we don't have. We don't have that many decoctions that we could even take and I don't know if you know let's test it let's test it though let's take a decoction here and hold on the resistance one sounded really cool let's do that one and let's see we're 41% Oh, 
We can take a shit ton of potions now, friends. Look at that meter. Maybe we shouldn't have got that Quen one, but it's fine because I at least want to... I think I only want to update one more. Maybe I want to get one more sign ability. So we had the explode and shield here, but we also have this art. I want to, I want to like upgrade art a bit. What does art do again? Strikes all opponents in certain radius. I wonder what that means. Certain opponents in a radius. I wonder if that means like maybe around Geralt or just even farther away. And then we got this one, but what does this one do? Emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemy. Oh my goodness. So Geralt probably just does a fire stream out of his hands, obviously, but wow. All right, we will nerd out a bit later. Let's go ahead and get over here because we need to get stuff going to get the hell out of this cave here. Hangman's, let's see, Elementa. Come on, Gollum. I don't think so, bub. Holy. Hang in there, Kira. Come on. I don't think so, Gollum. Can we stop him with the trap? I wonder. Let's throw the trap down, see if it slows him down. Oh! <laughs> He's fucking pissed. What's up, Kira? Get him, girl. Whoop his ass. You're hitting him with rocks. Come on, Gollum. Get our coin back up. We don't want to. Holy. Ooh, it didn't do nothing to us. Look how much. Look how long our potion's lasting. Oh, no, you did Whoop him up, Kira. Not good. You alright, Kira? Oh. She just one shot his ass. You know, let's take another swallow. Another Gollum's heart. Works for me. Alright, let's get the cat on. Moon dust. Ooh. That was the stuff that we read for the wraiths that come in handy. The wraiths or... Yeah, the devil by the well had a write-up on moon dust. Torn out foglet decoction. Oh, here we go. Let me in. So much awesome stuff. Where's that at? Oh, that's probably over in the area where we fought the hunt. Tracker's boots. Hold on here. Hold on here, friends. Oh, that's medium armor, though. You know, that's actually not terrible looking. Let's put this on. And then there was medium. <laughs> you look good, Geralt. You look good. Ooh. Is this medium? Oh, look at this is medium. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a huge upgrade though. How much of an upgrade actually is it? You know what? We'll just keep this on. Look at get oh my goodness, girl. You have your fucking underwear on outside of your pants. We're keeping these. We're definitely keeping these on. All right, let's get out of here. I think we... Hmm, magic. A place of power. Geralt's was going into the junkie mode again. We're not drawn from it, Geralt. We just did. It didn't even run out yet. Gera, how the hell did we get out of here? She said back to the left there was a draft. 
Oh, there's something over there. <laughs> What'd you say? We going? Oh, that's Kira back there. Maybe she's stuck. Someone placed an illusion here. Let's get it in, Geralt. Beautiful outside, friends. Up all night excursion. Oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime? <laughs> Kira, shall we visit her friends? You know, I feel like we definitely owe it to her and maybe ourselves after that long night. Go ahead and sit back and enjoy some festivities or whatever she has on for us. Be sure, yeah, definitely. I'll stop by, you can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. <laughs> So let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and admire Geralt's flirting tactics here. He sounds like he was literally about to maul her ass, but he was trying to flirt and say, you know, be sure. Definitely. Be sure. <laughs> Alright, Geralt. Where the fuck are we? It's time to explore. Um. We have a lot of stuff here. What is this? Defenders of Faith? Let's go and do that. We have something here. Something here. There's more villages. We could run into here and see if there's a notice board. But I'm starting to think that maybe... Let's see, if we got question marks in this area then would this area technically be something with a notice board in it? Probably not, actually. So I wonder. But then look at this. I wonder what the hell this is. You know what? Let's mark this. Because I'm curious. And what is this down here? Griffin School Gear. Okay. Interesting. We have something over here, but maybe we shouldn't venture. You know what? Let's just venture down here. Maybe there will be a fast travel point somewhere in these houses. So we can get back up. But then again, I kind of, with the time that we have left, obviously in this episode, do these question marks. And I think next episode, I want to take out a hefty chunk of these to make our way back up to Kira. Because honestly, I kind of want to do her quest. I know we are doing a lot of stuff with Kira so far, but I kind of actually want to do her quest. Maybe we'll do this. Well, that's level 10. We should hold off on that. What is Kira's? Level 6 and the Bloody Barons is level 6 as well. So we could probably do Kira's. Maybe one more quest with Kira and then make our way to the Baron. But I'm intrigued to see what the hell this stuff is here and maybe do this quest here. And then oh, we can see what this stuff is down here as well. Interesting. All right. Well, let's head towards there. But... Coming out here, it looked like I seen a fucking water hag. It looked like there was a water hag shimmying around over here. It is. Look at her. I knew it. Look at her. Just fucking looking beautiful. Come here. Look at Geralt. It is fucking underwear. About to whoop some ass. Come here, hag. Excuse me, ma'am. Mud pies for everyone. Oh. Jeez. She almost fucking one-shot me. Fuck the mud pies, I'm out of here. I don't want none of you. Hold on, let's get... Did you see that? Let's get some necrophage oil on. Goodness. 
Let's get Tony Thunderbolt. We'll get it all. You ain't gonna hit me no more. Let's also get Dancing Star because that probably will help. Oh yeah, girl. Go ahead and burn. Look at her. She is fucking backing that thing up. Oh my god. Is Quen still up? Yeah. Actually, it's about to go out. Let's get it back up. Man, the fire burning damage is severe. Get out of here, hag. Damn, we didn't get water essence from that hag. The one inside the tunnel actually dropped the water essence. We're probably going to have to go ahead and go to an herbalist and buy some stuff. Though the only herbalist that we seen was the... Wait, what is this? Alchemy supplies? There's an alchemist over here? By the boat? Interesting. Maybe that's... Maybe Kira's an alchemist. He has alchemy supplies. And maybe this is like... Kind of bugged? Showing that it's here? Alright, well let's go to this one. Make our way to this, and then we'll probably make our way back this way. But then again, I kind of want to go down. I want to go everywhere. Let's just go everywhere. Fuck it. Roach, I need your help. Roachy. I missed you. So we are probably almost over encumbered. We actually Perfect. are. And I can imagine our gear probably needs to get... Repaired. How the hell do we get over there? So this way... We need to go this way then. Don't go drowning on me, Roach. Look at the deer. You know, I wonder if you take a monster out of a specific part, an area or something, it actually populates the area back up with like wildlife. I could see this game actually doing that. Because it seems so damn in depth. We'll probably go over here and get whooped. I wonder these... Oh, there's a guarded treasure. Hold Let's here. go! Look at this place, friends. Damn, you're ugly. Level 7 race. Come on, suckers. Where the hell are they going? Watch yourself, Roach. Get nasty in here. We just keep hitting it. doesn't look like he'll hit us, huh? See ya. Ooh, look at that architecture of that a lion or something. Or a panther. Why is Garrett walking? How the hell did I get it off that? <laughs> what the fuck? That's a cool... Oh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. What the hell is that? Is that... Is that our wolf medallion? It looks like it. Come here. Whoa. We can't take any more Tonys. Come on, Wraithy. You know, I think I have Geralt just walking, but I have no idea how to take it off. Hold on. Left control. There we go. Alright, Geralt. Take it easy. There's something in here. Master crafted woven armor? <laughs> Did we just get witcher gear? Wolf gear. What the fuck? All right, hold on. Let's look in these other ones. Oh yeah, girl. There you go. I don't see anything over there. Interesting. So that's what this marker. 
I want to look around some. It's showing that it's Witcher gear in the area. Ooh, did the Viper gear do that? I don't think it did. We just got master crafted woven armor. Wow. Maribor Forest. All right. You know, we should probably meditate, but I kind of don't want to meditate in this area. Roach, where are you going? Look at Roach, she's running. Why don't you run for me, girl? I think she's playing tag with Geralt. <laughs> Let's do this and head to this area. Interesting. I can't believe we just got woven yeah. armor. That sounds like, hold on here. Hold your horses because I need to see this. If that's wolf school armor, then I want to know what, what it is. Mastercraft and wolf medium. Yes. That's so awesome. It's fucking medium armor. Look at it. Oh, it looks so badass. And it's the Witcher wolf school armor. So it's full force our school's armor. And wearing it won't be weird at all. Not that the, wearing the other ones will be weird, but still. What does it do? Up to three different oils can be applied at, to a sword at a time. Oh my goodness. You can put three oils on your sword? Bombs are thrown without any delay? It's adrenaline point gain. Oh man, that sounds very, very strong. You know, we are really... That, that might be what we strive to work for friends i feel like we'll well i don't know between a toss-up between this griffin and hold on roach let me get down this griffin and wolf school stuff because well wolf school sounds so interesting and intriguing to want to wear it's obviously Geralt's fucking gear Maybe not exactly Geralt's gear. I'm sure there's a story behind that wolf gear. Speaking of wolves. But Griffin is medium. And this wolf school is medium, so... Alright, well... We don't have any wolf school stuff... At all in our quest log to even update to go. We have the Griffin stuff update it, you know, that we can go and get that at some point, but I feel like that's something we should probably Destroy worry about in a bit. Too. Good on you, Geralt. Helping the gods. Oh, it's 5 a.m.? That's what I'm talking about. Let's just go ahead and meditate for an hour. Hopefully we don't get mauled by a fucking wraith or something. And then let's head on over to... This place. I really want to go down here too, though. There's so many places to go. This is... This is Griffin School, level 18. You know, what is the Griffin... School... Level for us to do? Griffin School. And this is Griffin gear upgrade so that's master crafted it will probably be griffin style then enhance griffin or i don't know enhance griffin then it would be epic griffin or something like that and then master crafted like i don't really know oh there was superior earth sign that we got so it's probably four or five maybe even i don't even know how far it goes up probably a lot oh this is gonna be great it's going to be a treasure hunt non-stop the Griffin gear is something we should do. That's level 11. Oh, if we do that, we'll get fucking wrecked, probably. That's going to be something we should do later. Come here, Rochi. Let's get down to this little area. And see what that is. And then we will save there. Obviously, like I said, next episode, I want to go ahead and get a lot of question marks done on the map. I want to get some gear. I want to get some levels. I want to get some money, I want to get some killing, I want to get some potion chugging, and I also want to get drunk. You know, speaking of getting drunk, let's fucking get lit. Can we get drunk? What is this? Oh, that's bandits for sure. Alright, well, hold on here, friends. Let's do some funky shit. Let's go ahead and just get lit. <laughs> fucking... 
50 beers Geralt just drank. <laughs> I probably should have kept that. Fuck it. I want to try something out here. I'm going to go fight drunk. Where's Hangman's? You know, you're screwed, man. He can't look. He can't even get the. He can't even get this on the weapon. Oh, that's silver. <laughs> Come here, Geralt of Rivia. Oh, hell yeah! We're drunk just like the first game. Shut up and fight. Come on, whoop ass! <laughs> Off with your head. Who else wants some? Hey, man. Let's chug some swallow. Chug some Tony. Chug everything. You're done. You want some too? Excuse me, your body's off and over there probably. Hey man, that wore off way too quick. I want to get drunk again. Did we just kill all them guys non-stop? How many kill cams was that? I can't even take this. We need to get drunk and fight more often. <laughs> what is this place that we're at? Oh, it's probably a place that we can liberate. I could imagine. Winds howling. Hey man, you guys gonna come fight me or what? Wins howling, Geralt said. That was fucking amazing! Maybe we should loot his corpse now? I absolutely adore that <laughs> you can just strip motherfuckers butt naked when you kill him. Hell with it, let's just loot it all. You know. Maybe we should save that for later. Let's just kill this guy. Come here. What are you doing over here just chilling? I got something with your name on it. Did he stab him in the... Lower parts? Look at... He put it from under up. Alright, Geralt. <laughs> this is too much, friends. Absolutely too much. Area liberated as populace has returned. Hell yes. That's so awesome. Can we talk to anybody here? God's preserve you. God's preserve you. All right, well, let me go ahead and save here. When we get back, we're going to go ahead and just full force. I want to see if we can talk to anybody here. Click on people, talk to this merchant. But I kind of honestly maybe want to go down here a little bit. See what this is. I don't know if this has a fast travel point. Maybe that's kind of reason why I came over here to get a fast travel point here. But maybe it's not one here. But if so, I kind of just want to go down here and explore a little bit more. Open up some parts of the map. I know this is kind of out of the way. But then again, I wonder... You know, this is a high quest. I don't want to trigger anything, and I don't know what this is, but maybe we should skirt around this and this and start just going... Let's go back this way, up here, do this, work on this. I kind of don't want to open anything else up because I'm scared that it may trigger things. You know, how the... What was it? The quest with Kira when we went into the village and stuff. Before we went into the village, I literally was going to go to Kira's house. I did not know that that was Kira's house. And the main reason I did not do it is because we got a question mark that didn't show up on the map and we did it anyway. So that makes me feel like I wonder if I shouldn't just go into these random places. It kind of just makes me a little bit reserved here. So I'm thinking... We'll touch base with people here and then kind of skirt our way back up here and work on getting... Oh my. Look at all these luscious question marks on the maps, friends. We are fucking going to do all these. So skirt here, do this, hopefully get a fast travel point. Because I would like to go back to Midcops and 
fucking offload some of the stuff. We are 90 of 90. Oh my goodness. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. And I will see you all next time. Take care.